Game 11 comes from Pool C. Yeah, it's a bit of a derby, this one. Russia, the third seeds here, up against Georgia. It'll be physical, that is for sure, between these two. Look at the starting lineups for, for you for Russia. Their captain, Ostrushko, Lazarenko, Babayev, Vitaly Zivatov, Sergei Anushkin, Ramel Gaysen, Herman Davidov. Vastly experienced team, this Russian outfit. Spandarashvili, Chadze, Zenaladze, Matyasvili, Zagadnadze, Savidzne, and Karazishvili are the starting seven for Georgia. There are some committed fans here at Sandy Park. And here they come. Russia on the left in their blue shirts. Georgia in the black and white tops. Russia beat Poland 43-12 in their opening game this morning. They'll be looking for their second win here, and Georgia had a heavy defeat to England in their round one match. Russia currently third on the overall standings. If they stay there, then they will be heading to the Hong Kong qualifying tournament next year to try and get back onto the Sevens World Series, having been relegated last season. Your referee for this one is the Scotsman, Sam Grove White. He's a very experienced referee on the sevens circuit. Yeah. Ready. Herakli Savanidze gets us underway. That's been caught well by Ramel Gayson. Just inside the touchline, there he is, flicking the ball off the base to Herman Davidov. Running at the line is Anushkin, and here's Ostrushko. So difficult to bring down, Chess passes it across to Davidov. This is good stuff to start this match from Russia. Gaysen again, here is Zivatov. He's flung to the floor, 10 metres out. Through the hands of Anushkin once more, here's Davidov again on the cut. Well taken care of was Ostrushko. Good tackle from Choadze that time. Most of the Russian attackers are over on this side of the fields. They've been held up, knees to the floor, got to let go. That's the tackle call from the referee. No, it's been stripped. No, it hasn't. It's a penalty. Nolly Waterman alongside for this one. Nolly, cracking start from Russia, this. Yeah, some really good control with Russia. Um, not only using the ball width to width, but also using their footwork to uh, change the direction, which makes it difficult to defend. But there's been some big hits from Georgia already, so they've made their, made their statement in terms of physicality. Certainly have. Neither of these teams will be taking a backward step here. That's been dropped by Gayson. And here come Georgia. Can they make something happen here? They've come up with a tough defensive display. Zenaladze that time running into contact off the base. Spandarashvili. Matiasvili in midfield. Zenaladze again. Back to Zenaladze. That's a straight line. Then. <laughs> Seven heads there that time, but there's a penalty. Holding on is the call. Good work at the breakdown. I think it was that man, Vladimir Ostrushko. He's a beast when the ball gets to the floor. Really good body positioning. Feet were nice and wide, so his body and was low enough to keep the, his chest over the ball when the uh, the defender, well, the supporting player from Georgia came in. Uh, fantastic strength to not even move an inch there and get that penalty. Vladimir Shushko made his debut on the World Series 12 years ago. But he's only played 34 events. He missed quite a few with injury over the years. If he is a key component. Here he is, picks up his 100th try at the London 7s. Hands it off to Ilya Babayev, the number five there, who picked up a hat trick this morning in their opening game. And here's an opportunity again down the near side for Zivatov. Ostrushko, Babayev. Kick play from Lazarenko across to Davidov, but it's just a little bit too heavy, just slightly overcooks that one. And nice idea, though. 
Yeah, really like that. Spotted the space to kick it into. These are the games that you want to be practicing those skills. Um, it is close at the moment, but real good confidence. Nice right-footed kick. Um, unfortunately, it just had a little bit too much on it. So Georgia with a defensive line out. Ah, they thought they brought that down, but it goes to floor, goes backwards, says the referee, so they can play on. Someone needs to react to that. It's much as Billy who does so, and he finds a little space back on the short side. Better from Georgia, getting in support of each other. They've made 30 metres there, and with just two quick passes. Stulishko with the tackle once more. That's seven nuts out. And a penalty again. And it's Ostrushko again. At the breakdown. We got Second time that. in a row. I think Ostrushko might need some attention here. The referee said to him, Do you want to go down on one knee and get some attention? Doesn't seem to be anything too clear. Maybe it's a slight muscle pull from the strength that he was in that squat position to turn the ball over. Um, fantastic skills to do that again. That one's been turned over by Georgia. Better from them. Then Aladze on the wraparound through the hands of Sevenadze. They really are striving for every inch here, Georgia. Just struggling it out of their own half. Sevenadze again. This time it's the captain, Karasishvili. Still nil all, no score in this match. Just over two minutes to go in the first half. Pool C, rushing. Russia looking for their second win of the, of the, of the day. Georgia for their Got first. The having run into it. Pretty red hot England side in their round one match this morning, Georgia. It was forward, it wasn't Rex. Oh, that's disappointing for Georgia having done all that good work. They come up with not the unforced error. Yeah, yeah. Same off. Yeah, with the defensive shape like Russia have, they're just they're willing to give up um, territory on the field. They go side to side. They're not aggressive in their push, um, but it means that they've got a lot of people around the ball um, when you do go to contact. Um, I think just going for a cheap, going for an offload without control of the ball, you're always going to lose lose control like that. But I think for me, Georgia just need to hunt a little bit more in threes. The ball carrier needs to go to the line. The next person in needs to secure it, and they need to get it away a lot quicker. Um, they can get these big Russians on the back foot, but at the moment, it's just too easy uh, for the Russian defence. Yeah, taxing conditions for both teams here. Really hot day down here in Exeter today. And that's some generous applause. Georgian player, it's off. Isabi Matiashvili, disappointing for him. Balance, balance. He's really there for the taking, this one. Still no score, no way through for either side. Defence winning the day so far. Just over 90 to go in this first half. Here's Ostushko again on the wraparound. Here's Babayev, the man who picked up a hat-trick this morning. He's a real live wire. Every time he touches the ball, it looks like something's going to happen. Cut-out pass over the top that time to Davidov. Herman Davidov cuts inside, and that's a good front-on tackle from Matias Vili. But look how quickly Russia get it away from the breakdown area. Gason. Ianushkin. Babayev bumps off one. Babayev still going. Five metres out. Penalty Russia, they'll go quickly, must take it from the mark. You already formed the rock, then you went on ball. Rocket formed. As we count down inside the final minute now. Russia looking for their first try of the game. Here's Ostrushko. Ducks under the tackle. Tackle of Chadze. Eh? Vantage offside. 
Almost there, Ten. Russia. They've got another penalty near. They need to be careful, Georgia. They might go down a six men. They decide to kick Russia. It's Gaysen across field to Herman Davidov. They saw the space out wide. Lovely heads up rugby from the Russians. They worked and worked. They couldn't find a way through in the close quarters. They lent on the kick pass and it came off for them. Nice build up play and strength here um, by the Russians. Um, but... It was nicely done, wasn't it? Davidov timed his run absolutely beautifully. Conversion is successful as well, so it took them a full seven minutes, Russia, to get their opening try in this game, but they've finally done it. Some excellent work from their playmaker. Five. Finished off by Davidov, they lead Georgia by seven points to nil. Russia leading Georgia by seven points to nil. Looking for their second win of the day after absolutely walloping Poland by 42 points to 12 earlier today. Russia defending champions here in Exeter on the way to the Rugby World Cup in a couple of weeks' time. Their 15 aside team will also be at the 15 aside World Cup in Japan in 2019. Lynn Jones has recently been named as their new head coach. Welshman, of course. Some big tournament dates on the horizon for Russian rugby. I'm looking for a good performance here too. They're currently third on the overall standings in Rugby Europe. And they want to stay in that top three. If they do that, then they'll get back to Hong Kong to the qualifying event. They can shoot for another spot back on the, the World Series. And Nolly Wardsman, how important is it if you do get relegated like Russia have been from the World Series that you bounce back as quickly as possible? It's, it's fundamental to keep the um, momentum going in terms of performance because for some nations you actually get a, a, a big reduction in funding if you're not on the World Series um, but when you're not regularly playing against the top opposition um, you're not getting the opportunities to really challenge yourselves and you can see um, the value of the World Series with Ireland going on it for two legs um, and just how much they um, improved over those um, opportunities. Well, the indication of how well Ireland did in two events as an invitational team, London and Paris, they picked up more points in those two events than Russia did in all ten that they played in this series. So, really was an incredible performance. Here's Babayev. The pass is slightly behind him. Had to check his run. He might have been away there, Babayev. He's been manhandled to the floor that time by Zeneladze. They keep possession, though. Here's the man who set up the try, Gaysin. Is the man who scored at Davidov to a Strushko. Tackle. Long lineup stretched out here. Lazarenko. Zivatov with the run there. Good carry. Got the penalty as well. I'm making tackles here though, Georgia. Really, they missed the one on ones. The chip through might do it for them. Davidov again. That Gason Davidov connection. And they will get the try eventually. It's Vladimir Ostrushko, and the difference between these two teams right now is Ramel Gayson and his kicking game. Two, two players playing for the ball. A lovely spot there, the Georgian team had seven up um, in the defence, so yeah, the space was in behind. And it was what you expect from a team that has been playing on the World Series. Not only will they have 
seen those opportunities themselves but had that done to them I'm sure from a number of the top nations so really nice skill uh, to gather that and uh, dot it down and get a little bit extra um, meters close to the posts which is really important in sevens in terms of the extra two points yeah 12 hill now to Russia 14 with the extra two to Gason it's been six years in this Russian sevens team as Ramel Gason. This for the RC Kuban club. He's a really important component of this Russian team. Look at that if you need any indication of their dominance in this game. 42 to 22. And they now have two full scores to show for it. That's been whacked back on the Russian side by Vlad Lazarenko. Here's Gason again. All the confidence in the world. He's given it off to Ianushkin. Just buying a little time here, Russia. You obviously see that in the sevens back game. Goal. Teams just stepping back towards their own goal line. Just to give their teammates an opportunity to get behind them. And now they'll try and put a few systems into action. Davidov again. Lazarenko. Finds the offload. Good support play from Russia. Georgia working so hard, currently down to six men because they've got a man injured in back play whoa, over the whoa, top mate. from Gason, but it's gone a little bit forward, has it? No, the referee says play on. I think he took a little bump from a retreating Georgian there. Through the effects, might we have the impact of that? Rostrushko, here's Zivatov to Davidov. Zivatov again to Rostrushko and Babayev. Ilya Babayev's been waiting all day for his chance and he takes it. Patrick this morning. That's his fourth of the weekend. Good stuff from Russia. And they're well in control now. Really nice patient play from Russia. Um, comes from re regaining their um, restart. Ustrosh keeps hold of the ball um, so well. It draws in the last defender from um, Georgia. and. Davidov has got the pace to uh, to burn in this team, so yeah, he was always going to get to the try line for that one. Yeah, we saw him nearly get the opening a little earlier, didn't we? With the pass a little behind him and gave the defence that split second to, to close him off, but not on that occasion. Green space in front of him, he has all the pace you need. Remains at 19 nil. Gason's missed the conversion. Vladimir Ostrushko. 31 years old now, 12 years he's been running around in this Russian sevens team. Devastating runner. And that's hit the back of the, the Georgian catcher there. You don't see that very often. It was Akaki Tabusadze who turned his back. It bounced off his back and over the sideline. Anything could have happened here. Yeah, obviously some miscommunication you can see afterwards. Um, arms are flailing and a little bit of um, of an argument going. But yeah, you shouldn't ever turn your back on the ball. You should at least have your eyes on it, um, just in case it does drop short and into your space. Kids, if you're watching, keep your eye on the ball. Georgia with some possession. Can they find a try? Kalea. Oh, here's some good pace round the outside from Tabu Sadze. Tabu Sadze's got some toe. Akaki Tabusadze under the posts. That's Georgia's first try. That was basically from a standing start. Unbelievable pace. Um, fantastic. Just superb finish. Good response to move the ball into the space on turnover. Um, the defence won't be set because they were expecting to be able to attack from it. But yeah, real confidence uh, to finish that there. I'll tell you what, Vladislav Sozanov, who he beat on the outside, is no slouch either. He's one of the quickest players in this Russian team. 19-7, a minute to go. We've seen it happen before. Here he is, Tabu Sadze. Don't give him the outside. That was what we just learned. That's a good spot tackle from Emi Patras Pecky, the new rookie for the Russian Bear Sevens. Good run that time from Piranadze. The clock might just beat Georgia here, but they're a real purple patch for them these last few minutes, showing they really can play if they hold on to possession. 
watch that. 19-7, can they finish with a try? Two scores behind, it's going to take something remarkable. Ostrushko. The help of Davidov with the tackle. Zabusadze again, off the right foot. Sozanov has him this time. Was it going to fall for the same trick twice? <laughs> Penalty, Russia. <laughs> Final play. Ramal Gayson tried to kick it out over the touchline. But, but the players weren't tense, so he's going to get another shot at it. But Gayson hit that about three inches off the floor. That's better. Off it goes high into the main stand here at Sandy Park in Russia. Impressive, it's got to be said, over Georgia. He tried everything they could, but simply outclassed here in pool seat.